Welcome to my Stuart Major Beam Engine Rebuild. This is part 12 and it's called Gluing Bricks and Cleaning Parts. I thought I'd put these two parts together because while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I can clean some of the parts. But first I had to go to my local DIY store and buy some glue. For a job of this sort, I would normally use either cyanoacrylate adhesive or 5-minute epoxy. But in the DIY store, both of these were out of the question because of the small quantities they were selling them in, plus the prices were extortionate. So I thought, I wonder what this Gorilla Glue's like. I'd seen it advertised on the TV, and a friend of mine had been using some and said it was very good. A couple of minor things worried me. The TV advert showing the man in the Gorilla suit helping a man fix a gate was very strange. And this very good friend of mine who said that this Gorilla Glue was really good stuff sadly died recently, but I thought, oh, I'll get some anyway. I've always tried to live life on the edge, so buying a bottle of Gorilla Glue, which is full of very poisonous chemicals by the look of it, is quite exciting, really. So now it's time for a Gorilla Glue frenzy. I glued the two panels to the box base, as you can see here. One thing immediately came to light. This stuff is very sticky. It's possibly the stickiest adhesive in the world. It's stickier than anything I can think of that's sticky. So I was a trifle worried when a lot of it started oozing all over the top surface of the bricks. So in the meantime, while the glue was drying, I part filled a container with some cellulose thinners, or lacquer thinners as you call it in the USA, and proceeded to put some of the badly oil-stained mechanical parts into the cellulose thinners. Then I gave them a quick scrub with my small toothbrush, which allows the cellulose thinners to bite into the grease and the grime, and helps it come off quicker. As I was cleaning up these parts, I frequently got cellulose thinners on my fingers, and my fingers were very sticky from using the Gorilla Glue, but once the cellulose thinners got on them, they stopped being sticky. So then I realised that cellulose thinners, or lacquer thinners, may be a suitable solvent to remove Gorilla Glue. Here's an interesting point. I'm just about to clean the water pump. That's not the interesting point. The interesting point is that this Gorilla Glue, in common with most of the other adhesives I looked at in the store, have a gap filling property. So this expands as it goes off, which is possibly the last thing I need it to do for this application. These bricks are on a mesh backing and this is going to get securely stuck to the wooden base, as are the bricks themselves. But the problem I have is as the Gorilla Glue is expanding, it's filling the gaps between the bricks, which is no good at all. I need to fill the gaps in these bricks with grouting, not with Gorilla Glue, it won't look good. So I thought to myself, well I have some cellulose thinners that I know dissolves the Gorilla Glue, and I have a small toothbrush. I wonder if this will do the job, and remove the expanding Gorilla Glue from between the bricks. And yes it did, it removed the Gorilla Glue very well. So after I had a bout of removing Gorilla Glue from between the small bricks, I went back to cleaning the parts for a while, to see whether or not the Gorilla Glue would expand any further. Here I'm cleaning the crank web. I'm going to clean this up really well. Part of it's going to be painted, and part of it's going to be left bare metal. This is the governor getting the cleaning and degreasing treatment. Again, part of this is going to be painted, and part of it's going to be left bare metal. It's not good to just globally paint all the parts, then the engine will look over painted and it will be spoilt. In the meantime, while I've just done this little job that you've seen, more Gorilla Glue is coming through the cracks in the bricks. So using some clean cellulose thinners, not the cellulose thinners out of the bath that I'm cleaning the parts with, I'm giving it a good wipe over with the toothbrush. It is of course all my fault I put too much Gorilla Glue on the wood. When I read the instructions on the bottle, it did tell me that it was going to expand, but I didn't think it would expand quite as much as this. You live and learn. Here I'm cleaning up the connecting rod. The connecting rods off these engines are really nice looking things, and when it's all back together, with part of it painted and part of it in bare metal, it really will look quite something. So here are the parts I've cleaned so far. I've polished up the brass part. I've even given the pedestal a coat of primer and the rampaging Gorilla Glue has finally stopped coming through the gaps in the brickwork. That's about it for the moment. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.